Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to show you how I make my little embellished glassine bags that I put on the covers of these new journals that I've been having fun making. So I'm going to use the same glassine bags I used for this particular cover, so the larger journal size. This one's made from an envelope as the base. And then the glassine bags come from a tattered dream on Etsy. And yeah, these ones I had fun embellishing using quite a lot of different pieces of ephemera on the front. Whereas these ones I just use a single piece of ephemera as a focal image. But really it's about the layering, <laughs> all the layering, um, collaging, that kind of thing. But I'm going to do a, a very simple one, basic one here just to help get started I suppose for any beginners out there who are like me who are terrified of collaging so yeah I've got two focal images that I've chosen just chosen some pretty ones that I really like and these can be great for some botanical journals maybe even vintage botanical then I've got a bunch of doilies so it helps if you have different sizes different patterns designs and colors so that they stand out so some of these are coffee dyed and I love these blue ones. I was actually gifted those in some happy mail. So I actually don't know where you get these from, but if I find out, I would definitely want to get more blue ones. I know you can get them in red and pink and gold and silver as well. So yeah, just see what you can find. So what I want to do is just kind of layer everything on top of each other like that. So it kind of goes on the doily like this and it does look even better like that once you do layer it. So for example, if I just grab my other cover here, um, my plan is to do a music cover base as well for these. And so you can kind of see through the glassine bag and it gives it that kind of extra layer. And plus when you put your ephemera pieces inside the glassine bag, that adds another layer. So it just looks really, really cool. So I think I'm happy with that combination of doilies for this one. And then this one I'll just show you even more simple, just two doilies. Even if you only have two doilies, you only have two different styles, you can still make it work. So even if you only have just white doilies, coffee dye some of them, and then you get something that can be very effective, like that. And then yeah, I... I just I just like it like that. That's awesome. Okay, so next what I want to do is just glue everything down, obviously, <laughs> uh, keep everything in place. Um, I think it works better if you work from the bottom up because you want to glue down the things that have the most coverage first. So we'll stick that one there in the middle. And then I will grab my ephemera piece, this beautiful rose, this could also look good I suppose with stickers if you don't have die cut ephemera pieces or washi tape and that kind of, well, not washi tape, washi stickers. And then what I want to do is find my middle <laughs> I'm just going to glue this to the glassine bag and I'll try and leave those edges free of glue so that stick off the glassine bag and I like that layered look that um, some of it overhangs the edge of the glassine bag and gives it a bit of texture as well all right but yeah, really the cover is also part of the whole effect, part of the collage. So I kind of want that on an angle a little bit. That rose, just a little bit on an angle. So there we go. Just see if I can center that a little bit more. Like that. Awesome. So then when I put that on a cover, the this will overlap the cover as well so I think that looks awesome awesome okay so that's that one let's get to this one so again I will just glue maybe I can even just glue that down first to start with the largest 
just miss the side parts where that won't glue down. Yes, so it's really, really fun, really simple just to do this type of collage using doilies. <laughs> Who knew that just layering up doilies could look so effective? So a nice easy way to break into collaging for a journal cover or even like these glassine bags you could have on their own, couldn't you? Um, or just to use these as an embellishment on a page in a journal. So yeah, they could work as a floating bag as well, like a floating pocket that you can move around in the journal. But I quite like the idea of putting them on the front of a cover. See if I can get the glue and miss all those gaps. Alright, so this one has three doilies to catch three different sizes and also three different colours and patterns. Oh, my stomach is rumbling. <laughs> And sorry if you can hear that leaf blower outside. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't start, but nope, it started almost as soon as I started filming. <laughs> Alright, so there's my next layer. And of course you can have fun adding a bit more bling or some trim, some lace, some cheesecloth or some tulle behind these layers. Had some diamantes, some tiny word stickers. Have fun going nuts with your collaging. But hopefully this is just for the total beginner, just to get you started, give you some ideas maybe, um, and ways to use doilies and a focal ephemera pieces. So yeah, that was really fun. I'm happy with those. You know, like I, I'm kind of happy with just having a glassine bag. Really, no need to put it on a cover. That's just fun as an embellished glassine bag. Um, hope you like it. In the, one of the next videos I'll show you how I make these ones, this version, and I'll actually do the full on cover too. I'll show you how I use the paper bag, damask bag, to make the cover and we'll stick it directly onto the cover as well. So that will be coming up, but same principles, just a different, um, different, a bit of a different look, different size and a few different materials and that kind of thing. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that was fun and helpful. <laughs> um, and you guys are all amazing, precious, beautiful gems. You are a beautiful gift to the world. Shine bright. You are a light. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.